Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go over some statistics that will show what is going on in the real estate market in Sacramento County and Placer County. So let's start with Sacramento County. I do have my laptop in front of me, so I'm going to be reading some of the statistics off of it. I will also go ahead and post a picture in a picture so you can see what I'm looking at. So let's see here. In December of 2020, we had 606 homes added to the market in Sacramento County. However, 1,429 homes sold in December. So what this means is we have more homes that are selling than being added to the market. So all of these sellers that are adding their homes to the market can't keep up with the demand of buyers. And we see this trend continue up until June of 2020. In June, we did have, I'm sorry, in May is when we had more homes added to the market and less that sold. But once June hit, we have had this continuous pattern of more homes selling than more homes being added to the market. And inventory has just dropped more and more. And so what that brings me over to is the months of inventory. This chart is very, very interesting because you see here in May of 2020, when that trend changed that I was just talking about, we had a huge downhill slope. So what this chart means is where you see 1.6 on the top of May 2020, that means that if no other homes were added to the market in Sacramento County, that in 1.6 months, there would be no homes left for sale. And so in May 2020, we were at 1.6. In December, we were at 0 0.4 months of inventory. That is extremely low. Now, why is our inventory so low? We have a couple of reasons. There is not enough inventory on the market to keep up with the demand that buyers have. And the second reason, if you haven't heard, our mortgage interest rates are at historically low levels. I have seen some insane interest rates lately. Another chart that I briefly want to touch on is the average price for sale in sold in Sacramento County. So the average price of homes in Sacramento County that sold is $491,000. Now in 2019 in December, that price was, let's see here, 421,000. So the average has gone up by $70,000. So it is safe to say that the December 2020 for sales price has appreciated by, it's up 13.7% compared to last year. All right, so now I want to switch over to Placer County. I'm gonna go actually on this one straight to the for sale versus sold. So on this one, you can, for the most part, see the same trends. Now, this one, instead of May, like Sacramento County, in June is when it started shifting. So as of July 2020, we had more homes that sold and less that were added to the market. And that continued all the way until right now. And so it's still happening. As for months of inventory, in May, they had 2.3 months of inventory. Again, that means if... They were to add no more homes in Placer County in May of 2020, it would take 2.3 months to sell the rest of the homes currently for sale. In June, that dropped to 1.2. In December 2020, we are at 0 0.6. So again, less than a month for Sacramento County and Placer County. Jumping over to the average price for sale and sold in Placer County, we have in December of 2019, the average sold price was 543000 and as of December 2020, the average sold price is now 652000 So we're talking more than a $100,000 difference. So from looking at these statistics, it is very clear that it's a seller's market. In Sacramento, Placer, and El Dorado County, if no other home was added to the market, the inventory would be completely gone in less than a month. And so if you're thinking about selling, now is a fantastic time to do so. What's interesting about this market is if you're thinking of buying, it's also a good time to do so because you're talking about historically low interest rates. And here's another thing to think about. I have a lot of clients that come to me and they're like, okay, well, I want to wait till the market drops. You can do your own research. Feel free to Google it, read a bunch of articles, and they're all going to say for the most part the same thing. It is almost impossible to time the market to hit it at the absolute low. So with that being said, when you're looking to buy a home, buy when you are financially able to do so. Don't wait to time the market because the market goes like this. So it goes down and up, but at the end of the day, it goes up. 
let's put it this way. I just got back from a listing presentation. This couple bought their home 40 years ago. 40 years ago, they bought it for 50,000. Now remember, in 08 is when we had our crash. 40 years ago was way longer. So they purchased the home for 50,000 and now they can sell it for $500,000. So even though we have 40 years ago, so what we're looking at 1980, we have the 08 crash here. It went like this and it went like this. Now we're back at 2021 and they're up to 500,000. So at the end of the day, homes are gonna go up in value. And what I always say is if you have the ability to purchase a home, it's always better to purchase a home than to rent because when you're renting, you're paying off your landlord's mortgage. So instead of building your equity in a home, investing in your future, you're investing in your landlord's future. So if you can purchase a home and you have the financial capabilities to do so, the budget to do so, talk with me. Let's go and discuss what the benefits are buying a home. And if you don't know, hey, where do I get started? I wanna buy a home, but I don't know where to get started. I actually made last week a video on exactly what your first steps are. So go check out that other video. I'm here to help you. Let me know if you have any questions I can answer. But that's it. So I hope this video was helpful and gave you a quick market update.